Hi, this is Ross from Middle Key Carpet Cleaning right here in Indianapolis. And today I wanna to show you how to remove virtually any spot from your carpet using stuff you probably already have around the house. First, I'll give you my top secret recipe for a homemade cleaning agent. It's completely safe. It won't hurt you or the carpet. It takes out dirt, mud, grease, tar, shoe polish, oil, food stains, and sometimes it even takes out pet stains if you get to them fast enough. Two, I'll tell you exactly what items you need to do this, and then I'll demonstrate how to use them on video. Three, I'll tell you the secret pros have been using for years to remove spots from carpet. They just don't want you to know about it because they'd rather charge for it. But today, I'll show you how to do it completely free. The first thing I'll tell you is to forget about vinegar. I know people love this stuff. It's cheap, it's safe. It does disinfect, but it has zero capability as a cleaning agent. To pull spots out of the carpet, you need something that's a little soapy, that has a little foam to it, so that it can grab onto soil or whatever's in the carpet, and it'll kind of suspend it so that you can pull it out later. So I'm gonna give you my three ingredient recipe that you can make yourself. You probably have the stuff to do it right now. It's completely harmless, and it'll take almost any spot out of your carpet. But before we get to that, let me show you the six household items that you'll need to do this. The six items that you'll need start with a spray bottle. You can find one like this at Home Depot for maybe three or four dollars. If you don't want to do that, you could even use an old Windex bottle. Just make sure that it's rinsed out well before you use it. The second thing you need is a bottle of dish soap. Doesn't matter what brand. The third item is rubbing alcohol. Try to get the 91%. They make a 70%, but it's not quite as strong. It'd do in a pinch, but use the 91 if you have it. Number four, just a regular old spoon. Use one that you don't mind if it gets a little bit dirty because you might be rubbing this in some dog poo. The fifth thing you need is just a small clean towel or rag. Try to use white or a light neutral color if you have it. And finally, the heart and soul of this technique and the secret that will let you get spots out of carpet like the pros is a wet dry vac or a shop vac, whatever you wanna call it. I just have the hose here. The actual unit is under the table where you can't see it. But do you remember how I said there's a secret that pros use? That secret is extraction and a shop vac will give it to you. Scrubbing on carpet and dabbing at spots like this and trying to get stuff out of the carpet with a towel, it's no good. Even if you get the spot out, it's likely that you'll fray the carpet fibers and then you still have a damaged area in the carpet and it never looks right ever again. Trust me, I see this happen all the time. A shop vac will let you safely extract the solution, the cleaning solution that I'm gonna show you how to use and the spot right out of the carpet without hurting anything. Now I know what you're thinking, who wants to drag a shop back into the house every time you have a spot on the carpet? Well, to that I say, number one, it's still faster in the long run than trying to clean spots up with a towel and it won't damage the carpet like a towel does. Number two, you don't have to have a giant shop vac and you don't have to break the bank if you need to go buy one. There's a one gallon Stanley wet dry vac that I saw at Walmart for $19.97. So for under $20, you can have a wet dry vac and clean any spot out of your carpet. It's gonna save you tons of money in the long run because you don't have to hire a professional to come out and take care of it for you. Listen, I see customers all the time that spend $100, $150 on Bissell spot bots that don't work. They ruin the carpet, they put down too much soap. For $20, you can have a tiny little wet dry vac that will do the exact same thing. As a matter of fact, it'll do even better. Okay, so that's all the boring stuff. If you're ready, I think I am, let's see if we can take a spot out of the carpet. Before we actually take a spot out, let's start with our recipe for our cleaning agent. This used to be my top secret recipe. I guess it won't be top secret after this, but start with a mixing bowl with a little spout if you have one like that, because once you mix it up, you'll need to pour it into your spray bottle. Not the end of the world if you don't have one, but it just makes it easier. Begin with a cup, one cup of warm tap water. It can be hot, it just doesn't need to be scalding hot, but if it has a little warmth to it, it helps the chemicals work a little bit better. After that, you need a half teaspoon of dish soap. So that is equivalent to about 15 small drops of dish, dish soap if you don't have a half teaspoon measuring spoon. 
Don't use more than that. I know you might be tempted to, but trust me, if you use much more than that, you'll have a foamy mess that you'll never be able to rinse out of the carpet. You don't need more soap than that. Finally, if you have a tablespoon, the last item that you want is your rubbing alcohol. I like these little CVS, CVS bottles because they have a flip top and it's just a little bit easier to work with. Now later on, you might add more alcohol if your spot isn't coming out. Don't ever add more soap. You do not need more soap. But if you have a stubborn spot, you might be able to get away with more alcohol. So we're gonna add two tablespoons roughly. Give it a gentle stir. Don't shake it because it'll get really foamy and then you won't be able to put it into your spray bottle. So just go on ahead, put it in your bottle. And now you've got a great spot remover. This has a great shelf life. If you don't use it all today, you can use it later. Just swirl the bottle a little bit the next time you use it, because if it's set for a while, the water and alcohol might separate. Don't shake it because it'll turn into a foamy mess inside the bottle and it makes it harder to spray out. And the entire recipe is based off one cup. If you need to make more, then just scale the recipe up. So in theory, you could make a gallon, just use the same ratios. A half teaspoon of dish soap to one cup of water and also two tablespoons of alcohol. Start with two tablespoons and if you need to add more later, you can. Okay, let's see if we can get a spot out. Now, since you don't have time to watch me attempt every conceivable spot, I figured we would start with the hard stuff, shoe polish. It's usually a nightmare to get out of carpet. If we can get this out, we can get anything out. And to be fair, we're gonna try vinegar and our homemade concoction that I gave you the recipe for earlier. So, I will take a towel and we'll put a nice little smear of shoe polish there and then our vinegar shoe polish there. I have some regular white vinegar here and we'll just put that right on the spot. By the way, I would never attempt to do this without a wet dry vac. If you put this much liquid on a spot on your carpet and you are trying to dab it up with towels, it will never come out. So only do this if you have a shop vac. Also, if there are excess chunks Try to pick those up, scrape them up, up with cardboard or something before you add liquid to it. Try to get the excess material out of the way first. Now, we're gonna take our spoon and just work the vinegar into the shoe polish. Remember earlier how I said you might wanna use a spoon that you're not particularly in love with? This is why. Imagine if this were a dog poo stain, you'd have to throw your spoon away. Next, we're going to use our homemade concoction on this little guy. And we'll also tamp that in with our spoon. Don't scrub, you can go on ahead and push it in, but if you scrub, you might fray the carpet fibers and then even if the spot comes out, the carpet's damaged. All right, let's fire up the shop vac and see what happens. Not exactly stellar results. So let's try a second step. We'll put our vinegar back on, tamp it in. Then we'll add our soap. Now, do you remember earlier when I said not to use any stronger of a mixture of soap, just a half teaspoon per cup, but we could add more alcohol if we need to? Well, I think this would be a good time. Alcohol works as a sort of degreaser. It will break down oily and grimy spots like tar, oil, grease, and in this case, shoe polish. Keep in mind that rubbing alcohol can actually damage the backing of carpet. So only do this if you have the means to extract it out of the carpet. If you're just using towels or a sponge, do not use rubbing alcohol. You have to have a shop vac and don't let it sit for too long either. So we'll tamp that in and try to extract again.
Now, as you can see, we're really starting to get somewhere and the vinegar is a complete and utter failure. Let's try one more treatment with our homemade concoction. Put a little bit more alcohol on it. By the way, this would go a lot faster if I weren't talking the whole time, but for demonstration purposes, I have to explain what's going on and it takes a little bit longer. If it weren't for me flapping my yap, we would be done by now. I'm gonna say this will be the final step and let's see how it turns out. I didn't even bother with the vinegar side because obviously it's not gonna do anything. If you have any excess moisture in the carpet that the shop vac didn't pick up, you can take your clean white towel or rag. Don't use a bright red one just in case you don't want red dye to get on the carpet. Just kind of dab at the carpet. Do not scrub. Don't scrub the carpet. Just dab. That'll get up the rest of the moisture. And now we've taken a shoe polish out with about $20 worth of equipment. Congratulations, you made it all the way through. Now keep in mind, this won't work for everything. It is possible to stain the carpet, and stains are different than spots. A spot is something that gets added to the carpet, like a clot of mud or peanut butter, something that you should be able to remove from the carpet. A stain is something that changes the color of the carpet, like red food dye or an old dog urine spot. You might be able to get fresh dog urine spots out, but an old pee stain that's dried and set, you probably won't be able to get out with this technique. But at any rate, use this information at your own risk. Please don't call me upset if something bad happens. Just try to use common sense. Don't use too much soap. And if you use alcohol, make sure you extract it all with a wet dry vac. Please don't try to use it with towels alone. If you have any questions about any of this, just ask in the comments section below. And I'll try to keep an eye on this video here on YouTube and answer any of those questions. Also, you can contact me through my website. It's www.middlekey.com. And you can email me through the website if you get hung up on a spot or a stain that you're having trouble with. If you live in or around the Indianapolis area, I'd love to help you out if you have problems. Feel free to call me, I can walk you through over the phone. Or if you wanna hire a good competent carpet cleaner, I'd be happy to come out and take care of your spots or stains for you or any of your carpet cleaning needs. And again, visit my website, middlekey.com to get a hold of me. Thanks for watching.